Hi guys, welcome back. Um, I'm Brenda with Stack Shelf. Um, we haven't done a video in a little while. We've been a little bit busy lately, so I've had this one, this palette sitting here for a while. And I'm about ready to open it. So inside of it is furniture de and decor, general merchandise, kitchen and appliances, and it's unexpected returns. So I paid $305.55, including shipping. So it's about, um, I have nine items in there. So it's about $33.95 for each item. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and let's see what's inside of it. So I got a lot of large items in here. Oh, this video won't be too long. Like I said, there's only nine items. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay, so it looks like the side of it was cut. Looks like some of the items are still taped up and packaged. Oh, it's a metal bistro chair. Okay, and there's two of them in here, in here. So this is the back of it. There's two of them in here. So it's a Hearth and Hand by Magnolia, which is sold at Target. Here are the seat benches go with them. So typically what I do is I take pictures. I don't put it totally together, but I'll open up the boxes and take pictures of everything in its package. It comes with the instruction manual too. And the hardware. Like I said, I don't know. Ooh. Yeah, it looks like, I mean, it's got the stickers on the pieces and everything. So it looks like Everything is there. It just looks like the box got damaged and maybe somebody returned it. Like I said, these are the faces and they're wrapped separately. Okay. That's good that it's a set. That's gonna be easier to sell. This is just one piece. And I'll just list these locally. everything together okay this is a threshold Windsor counter stool dark blue looks like it was retaped it's quite a bit of tape on here There's the inside of the box. So here's the hardware. It's taped to the side of the box, which is good. Instruction manual, but it comes with the installation pieces, instructions. Okay, so what I'm not seeing is the top part of the stool. Is it? Oh, yep, that's it. Okay. Okay, there's the bottom.
Okay, it doesn't look like it's damaged. I don't want to pull it all the way out because it's kind of stuck on the bottom. <sighs> Put this back. So it looks like it's actually in good condition. Looks like the box got damaged, but didn't damage the stool itself. So I think we're okay there. Okay, this is a bar stool, a Lynette bar stool by Opal House, which is a Target brand also. This actually looks like it's brand new. Like it hasn't been opened yet or anything. Show you the inside of this box too because this one looks like like i said it's not even touched there's no damage to the box or anything like that so instructions are in it so make sure and the hardware is in with the instructions so this is just another bar stool Okay, so one of this looks like it's been retaped. So it looks like it has been opened. Let's see. Okay, and the styrofoam's a little bit damaged. But, and the styrofoam is taped. Okay, so this is a stand for an outdoor umbrella. Oh my gosh, it is super heavy too. Let's see. It's just a steel umbrella base. I don't know if you can see this. All right, there's probably like a picture of it. Um, everything's there, Project 62. So there's the tag for it. The top part. Again, this thing's gonna be I can try to sell it online, but the shipping on it's gonna be expensive because of how heavy it is. But it's a nice piece. So we'll see. Instapot toaster oven and air fryer. So let's open this up and see. Okay, so it's hard to tell if it was retaped or not. Okay. Looks like there's a little damage to the styrofoam. Here's the instruction book. And Okay. 
the wire's still wrapped up and it's got a tie on it. Oh wow. So the front of this is all is taped up too. So I don't know if you can see it in the photo or not, but there's some tape on the front of this too. It looks like it's undisturbed. Everything inside of it is, is taped up. So Choiceproducts.com. So the box is all damaged. It's retaped. So I don't know what's inside of it. Oh, yeah, that's just a damaged box. Hang on. Let's see if I can figure out how to get it open though. So this is a oversized zero gravity chair. Looks like it's in good condition. Doesn't look like it's damaged. There's no stains or anything on it. Okay. Oh. Okay, it comes with the cup holder also. Tier metal shovel unit. It's definitely been opened and retaped. But it has not been put together has not been put together. So those are all the pieces. Uh -huh. 
hardware. Yeah, a lot of this stuff is still wrapped up. This box isn't too heavy. Looks like it's a metal pendant lamp with three lights. The top is totally retaped. Mm -hmm. This is, it's got like fuzzies where the electrical connection is. It's semi wrapped up. There's a dent on the side of this here. There's the tag still on it though. Okay, so I might have to put some lights in it. Other than that, it looks okay. Um, see if I can hook this up really quick. And put some lights in it, see if it actually works. Who knows? Okay, there's one more item. So it says it's a platform bed frame for full. Um, it looks like it got, there's like a little bit of damage to the box. It's not too bad. I don't think you can see that right there. Okay, so it's wrapped up. Okay, it looks like it wasn't taped back up again. It looks like somebody started to open it, but finish. Yeah. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is go look at some comps on this stuff and see if I can figure out how much I think I could sell it for. Quite a few of the, uh, these items are pretty big or pretty heavy, so I'm not gonna, I'm gonna have a hard time selling them online because of the shipping costs. So what I'm gonna do is, I, like I said, I'll look up the comps on these and see how much I think, it, think I can sell them for, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and went and pulled some comps to look to see about how much everything was selling for. Um, I added everything up. It was about 585. Like I said, I paid a little bit over 305 for this palette. So that would make my total profit $280, and that's after fees and any shipping costs or anything like that. Um, so what I'll do is, is I'll probably start listing some of the stuff online. Like I said, some of the shipping costs might be kind of high, but some of it's like a high dollar value, so that will help with absorbing some of the shipping costs and stuff like that. So like I said, I was conservative with these numbers too. So anyway, if you liked this video, make sure you like it down below and subscribe. So you can see when we post more videos, hopefully we'll find some more pallets and boxes that are worth a little bit more. Money. Like I said, things are getting a little more expensive and it's getting harder to find boxes and pallets right now too. So hopefully we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.